Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about uninterruptible power supplies, the ultimate uninterruptible power supply in my opinion. I lose power all the time at my house. I live on the edge of the national forest. It could be summertime, it could be wintertime. And your conventional UPS from APC or some of the big brands, they're just not cutting it. Couple problems, they don't last long enough. Second of all, they don't run off a generator, and that's a problem for me. So today, we're going to tackle that problem. I'm very excited about it. Hey, listen, we're going to give away some t-shirts. Free. Free shipping. No purchase necessary. There is only one catch. Lower 48 in the United States. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do international shipping. I'm not shipping to Hawaii. I'm not shipping to Alaska. So stick around for your opportunity to... Woo! Look at that. We're going to give some of these away. Let's get to it. Today we're going to install and test the Amp Invet Pure Sine Wave Inverter. This is an inverter and sine wave charger all in one. Let's talk about why I chose this. First and foremost, it has generator mode. So it will charge off my home generator. We lose power all the time at home. It's very frustrating. A conventional UPS will not charge off a standard whole house generator that is not sine wave. That's the problem I have at home. Second of all, price, $155 shipped. You can't beat it. They did have a 1200 watt version. This is 800 watts, talk about that in a second. 1200 watt version, only $175. I would have spent the $20 more to have the 1200 watt. It was out of stock at the time when I ordered this. I just checked, they are back in stock, the 800 and the 1200 watt. However, let's go back to the 800 watt. This is 800 watt with 2400 watt peak. It's enough to run your average refrigerator. Uh, we're not going to get anywhere near that. I mean, I'm going to guess we're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 60, 70 watts on everything, but we are going to test that. The other reason I chose this is the reviews. It had good reviews, with the exception of it looks like for a while their onboard outlet was wired backwards, so a lot of people hammered them on the reviews on that, as they should. Other than that, it has fantastic reviews. So. That's why I went with this. What comes in the box? Pretty basic. The inverter itself, two battery cables. I measured them. They're 32 inches. The I will say the listing did not confirm that it came with battery cables. It also gave no information on what length, what gauge, and of course the instruction manual. I breezed through this. It's actually a pretty good manual. Um, I have seen some other reviews on this saying that the manual is pretty good for a Chinese manual. So that's pretty good. Let's talk about the connections. Okay, pretty straightforward. You have the AC input, which we're going to utilize. AC output, which we're not going to utilize. I could wire this into the circuit at my house that, for instance, I could come out of my panel, AC in, and then AC out and feed an entire 15 amp circuit at my house. This is 15 amps. However, we're not going to do that. We're going to use this outlet right here. It is only 10 amps. You don't want to be hooking this up and running refrigerators and going crazy off it. It's only 10 amps. It's going to be more than enough for what we're doing and it's going to be simpler. And of course the battery connections. These are pretty nifty. Got the protective caps. Pretty straightforward 10 millimeter lug. I'll get the battery cables connected. This connection here. So power cord. I did look on Amazon and I'm like, I'll just simply order a replacement power cord for a power tool or such. Well, I'll tell you, they're not as cheap as you would think. And even though I'm only going to use a 10 amp outlet, I wanted 12 gauge wire. I obviously could have used 14 or even 16 gauge wire and it would have been fine. I wanted 12 gauge. I actually found a six foot extension cord. I'll post a link in the description that was $8.49 and I simply can cut the end off, strip the wires about a half an inch and use it. It's 12 gauge, it's less money than buying a replacement cord is what I was looking for. You actually could take um, an old computer cord, cut the end off it. Uh, if you have a power tool that you don't use anymore or is you know, broken, cut the cord off that or you can order the cord. I've gone ahead and removed our cover. It was simply just two screws. Your connections are such, neutral, line, ground. White is neutral, black is line, 
green is ground. If you don't feel comfortable doing this yourself, please get a qualified person to do it for you. But it is very do-it-yourself or friendly. This cover is meant for the wires to pass through here. I don't know why I don't love that. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So, quite simply, loosen these up. And then, snug it down. You don't want to kill it. So, let's talk about these wires for a minute. This is perfectly fine for what we're doing. Just taking the stranded wire, giving it a little twist, putting it in and tighten it down. I am going to redo this. I'm just going to uh, run some solder on the ends of the wire to tin them, holds all the strands together, and then I'll put them back in. But I'm not doing that today. You don't want to kill these screws, but you want them snug. Now what I'm going to do, hopefully, is I want to fold that down like that. Uh, yes, and put the cover on like that. I think that'll actually look a little bit neater. Well, I'll put the screws on this, get some battery cables installed. You'll see on the supplied battery cables is a smaller diameter and a larger diameter. That's for the battery, that's for the inverter. You're also going to see there's a flat side and where the crimp is. Seems to fit perfectly, flat side. Then your flat washer, your lock washer, and your nut. 10 millimeter socket. You don't want to kill these, you just want them snug. And then of course, put your protective covers back on. A little plastic nut that comes with it. Let's talk about the battery I selected and why. The hump sink. 100 amp hour, 12 volt, lithium iron phosphate battery. Why did I choose it? Two reasons. It had a Bluetooth app and the price. It was cheap. Uh, I don't know. I paid like $120 for this on their website. It, there was a coupon code, this, that, and the other thing. There were so many options for lithium ion batteries that I just had no clue. It had decent reviews on Amazon. Let's talk about the app. Bluetooth app on this very battery, not working. I'm a pretty smart cookie. I've tried everything. I emailed support. They give you their email address. I also guess it's on the back of the battery. Emailed them with screenshots, photos, everything I've done. I said, I'm gonna give them as much information as possible to help them help me. I got back a generic, horribly translated Chinese email where they copy and pasted the Bluetooth app instructions off their website into the email. I replied with more information, more screenshots, more photos, very well written email. They ghosted me, I haven't heard back. I have charged this battery up. Let's hook it up, see if it works. I mean, it was cheap, 120 bucks. We'll give it a shot. All right, when we first powered this on, it wanted to top off the battery. Without the load plugged in, it spiked up to 200 watts. It topped off the battery, then it leveled out. I've got everything plugged in, battery is fully charged. So with the inverter running, battery fully charged, everything plugged in, again, we're gonna go over that list in a minute. 50 watts, that's pretty amazing. So this whole system draws 50 watts not bad. Don't forget to drop a comment. We want to give away some of these great t-shirts. I appreciate my subscribers. I appreciate my viewers. No purchase necessary. Yeah, drop a comment. How are we doing? I'd like the feedback. Whether it's positive or negative, please. It means a lot. Smash that like button too. Thanks. All right, what have we got plugged into this? We have Real Link NVR. If you're a fan of the channel, you know I love my Real Link cameras. Connected to the real link NVR are for this testing two power over Ethernet real link cameras 4k a power over Ethernet switch we also have Cable phone modem cable internet modem TP link mesh Wi-Fi router We have two additional network hubs 
We also have this HDMI splitter. More on that, I'm gonna do a video on how to view your NVR and your cameras on multiple locations. That's coming up soon. Make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss that. This monitor is plugged in, but not powered on. So, probably more than your average person is gonna have because of the cable phone modem, the HDMI splitter, and probably don't need two additional uh, network switches in your house. All right, here's a moment of truth. Let's unplug it. I have high hopes. Look at that. Didn't miss a beat. I'm not going to bother dragging the camera down, but it does show us our load. It says we're at 5%. 5%. That's it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is more than enough to run your home security cameras, all that stuff. All right, let's talk about a couple things. First and foremost, I am thoroughly impressed with this. I'm gonna to continue to monitor this. If there are any issues, I will absolutely do a follow up. Now the big question, how long will it last? Well, we're gonna to have to do some math for that. I was monitoring this. It did spike at 61 watts with everything I have connected, including the inverter. I know previously we were at 50 watts. You know, there's variables. That being said, 61 watts, our battery is 1,280 watt hours. So the math says we're going to get about 21 hours. 21 hours out of a battery backup. If you check out my video that I did, I'll put a link in this, on how long a 1,500 watt standard APC uninterruptible power supply last. This blows that out of the water. It gets even better. This battery right here, you're not limited to that. You literally could just go get another battery, hook them up, parallel, not series. What parallel means is positive to positive, negative to negative. So order a battery, a short set of jumpers, add it, and in theory, you're gonna double your time. All right. As my late brother Bruce would say at the end of his podcast when he was wrapping it up, let's land the plane. Let's get some final thoughts. Amp Invit, I think you're missing the boat. You're advertising this as a solar product. I think you need to push it as an uninterruptible power supply. I'm very impressed with it. There are very few YouTube videos on it out there. I did reach out to Amp Invit and said, hey, you know, I want to do an uninterruptible power supply. I want to do a video. I want to review it. Educational video. They came back with that my channel wasn't their target demographic. They're targeting solar customers. Okay, well, it's probably more that I'm a very small channel. However, so I bought it. I wanted it. We lose power so much at my house. It's ridiculous. I needed a good system for everything. So there are my final thoughts. I'm impressed. I like it. I will wrap up this video with two questions. Will you please leave a comment Let's give away some t-shirts. Second of all, if I'm doing anything right or wrong, please let me know in the comments. I'm a new channel. I just want to help the average Joe with average problems. That being said, I appreciate you getting this far and watching. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.